Greetings folks, this is Mason Weaver and I want to talk today about something that's, that's been, been bothering me, I've been noticing, concerns me, and it is the state of marriage. The state of men and women coming together, finding each other, and looking for marriage. I'm, I am perplexed and I'm a little, a little disturbed by what I see. Some of you know my story. Some of you know I was married for 35 years to the world's most beautiful woman. And God took her home. I begged him to keep her. He said, nope, time to go home. He took her home. I enjoyed being married. It was the only life I ever wanted. And because I enjoyed being married and my wife was so good at being a wife, I'm looking forward to another one. So for the first time in almost 50 years, I'm looking at young ladies now. And I'm saying hello to them and I'm getting to know them. And I'm telling you folks, something's changed. In 50 years, something has changed. And you young men know what I am talking about. The women, Lord have mercy. The women, what, is, what, has gone, what have you guys done? It is your fault. It is your fault. You've allowed these women to circumvent your own personality. They made, they, you've made, let them change your own image of yourself and manhood and relationships. Sex became easy for you, so you took the role of a wimp because wimps got sex. And all you cared about was sex. You didn't care about stability, protection, build up the community, raising children. You didn't care. You left these women to raise the kids yourself. And now your kids are crazy and they're selfish. They said, I don't watch TV to come on with latch key kids and TV is raising them because you are not preparing and taking care of your woman. Women are, are, are mean. They're aggressive. They're masculine. They argue with you on everything. Everything. How can you stand being around them? I know women, I don't I don't want to hear any lady I can tell about how bad men are. I'm not dating men. So I'm just telling you how my part of view my part of the world looks like on the male side of the world. We can't even have a conversation, ladies. We can't even have a discussion. And it's, I know something else. I know you ladies have become the men that you desire. You want a man with a great career. So you go to college, you go into business, you get a great career. You want a man with some money. So you can invest your money. You become his financial success. You want a man that's strong and powerful. So you act strong and powerful. But your man don't care about that. Men aren't concerned. You think that when we see you, when that man who's a successful man, educated man, on the career path, when he sees you as successful and financially secure, that he would admire you where you are. He would admire you because you are equal to him. No, ma'am. We do not care about your PhD. We don't care about your position in life. We don't care about the, the business. We don't care. We, matter of fact, we don't want to come home and talk about finances. I don't want to tell you about my day. I want you to tell me about my night. Husband and wife, male and female, it's not a business merger. We don't care, we're not impressed, we're not impressed. And so you get more frustrated because we don't bow down to your intelligence, your intellect, your financial cleverness. We don't, we don't care, it's, it's okay, great, do that. We don't, we, we're not one way or another, ladies. We want a female. I'm hard, you don't have to be hard. I'm strong, you do not have to be strong. We don't want advice, we do not want advice. Motherly is motherly. Don't be my mother, I'm not looking for a mother, I'm not, I'm not looking for a preacher. So don't preach to me about God. Don't, don't give me sermons every time I speak to you, give me a doggone verse. Don't, I'm not looking for a pastor, I'm not looking for a church, I'm looking for a wife. Ladies, you, winning two out of three arguments before I go to bed is not sexy. It's not sexy. For you to, to have a chip in your shoulders, women, girls, sweetheart. Now, I'm going to end with an apology because it's really it's our fault. It's men's fault. But ladies, if we have to fight you, we cannot love you. If, if we have to tiptoe on our toes to make sure we don't say the wrong things. Ladies, if I say something to you, woman, and you can take it two different ways. 
and one way upset you. I meant it the other way. I meant it the other way. Why would you take it the wrong way or the way to hurt your feelings, the way to upset you? When there's two ways to take the, the statement. I'm not going to sit back and walk on tiptoes, making sure I don't say the wrong thing to upset you. I'm not going to live like that. And stop making things work better. If you and I have an agreement to do something at a certain time, a certain place, do it. Do it. Don't change your mind and don't notify me. Did you understand how rude that is? That's insane. Matter of fact, that would cause me not to be able to trust you. If I tell you I meet you at the club at, at 3 o'clock and I get there at 3 and wait till 4 o'clock waiting on you, you call, so you know, I thought, I thought it would be better if we'd be at the theater. And then tell me. What's wrong? Ladies, stop being so defensive. Stop being so argumentative. Stop being so hell-bent on you getting your way every time. And so, will someone please email me, masonweaver at masonweaver.com and tell me what the heck is a alpha doggone female? What is an alpha female? Do you women understand what an alpha male is? It came from the observance of the wolf pack. When scientists observed the wolf, and there was always a dominant male, he led the show. There was also a dominant female, the alpha female, because she was the male's favorite. She was the alpha male's favorite, ladies. She was the she wasn't dominant and pushy. She did other 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 females, but she never, not once, ever in history, do would a would a alpha female challenge an alpha male in the wolf pack. It would never happen. She was just his sexual favorite. She was the one that gave birth to the alpha children. She was not co-ruler of the pack. You women trying to be the man that you want to be. Be the female God made you and the man you want to be a find you and love you. And I am not, ladies, I am not, I'm not the finest guy here. I might not be the biggest catch. I might not be interested in this, but let me give you a hint about Mason Weaver. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I had a good friend of mine tell me the other day, man, good friend. I like wise men. He said, Mason, you're not dating, you're courting. See, courting is meeting a lady for a purpose, for a purpose. You're examining her as a potential wife for you, not a girl, for not a weekend fling. Courting her is you got to deal with the men in her family, her father, her brother, her cousin, her sons. You got to deal with the other men who love her and not try to go to bed with her, who love her enough to watch her behind with her. It's, see, girlfriends are useless. Girlfriends are useless and expensive and nerve-wrecking. You cannot go into business with a girlfriend. You cannot enter a 30-year mortgage with a girlfriend. You cannot plan a future with a girlfriend because girlfriend by nature and title and by design has no future. So young ladies, I apologize to you because this is all men's fault. It's all male's fault. I'm a black man. I'm a black man. I'm not a white man. It's a black man's fault about the black woman. We could not protect you during slavery. We could not give, give you our honor during slavery. We had no power, we had no influence. And you were abused by the white man and by us. We had to call you a bitch and a hoe to justify our inability to take care of you, lady. I understand that. You had to become an object both for the black man and the black woman. And it made you bitter and strong. And it got us here. I recognize that. And I apologize for it. But we are, we're now strong. 72% of black people live outside of poverty. I know you don't know that because they watch TV so much in the news. But we're middle class now. We're educated. We're sophisticated. We're kind. And we're gentle. If you have bad men in your life, I'm not going to pay the price for the bad men in your life. I'm not going to have you drag me through. We all have been abused. Every one of us, male and female, has been abused. I'm not dragging my exes to you. Don't bring your problem to me. Examine me. Let me court you to present myself to you eligible and prepared to be your husband. I am, I'm a lousy, lousy, lousy boyfriend. I'm a great husband. So ladies, lift your head up. Let's talk about your weight problem, sweetheart, baby girl. The weight comes from stress. The weight comes from stress. I know it's us. I take that. But you pick the daddy of your children and you raise the sons. Your greatest gift to your kids is the daddy you pick for them. Stop it. So we're going to build an organization. 
on my site, leadtheplantation.org. We're going to build an organization, a culture, a system of good men looking for good women. I don't know any bad men. I don't know any clowns. I don't know any players. I don't know any pimps. I don't know any wife abusers. I don't know any. All the men I know are great men, and you'll be loving to meet them. So join us on leadtheplantation.org. Let's try to build up a community of righteous people doing things God's way and get ourselves back to freedom. Our problem stems with our families. Our family stems with our inability to marry each other. And that stems from our inability to love and trust each other. I love you, woman. Let's stop it. I give up the game. Why don't you give up the game? It's just Mason. Stay right or be left. Eternity is a long, long, long time to be wrong. God bless you.